Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine and okay. In this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the auto import option in Android Studio so that you can add libraries uh, whenever you are going to use any objects, different objects, okay, like text views, text, okay, or any buttons, okay, whenever we are going to add those in our main activity window, then whenever we are going to use code, you will have to use different libraries, built in libraries. We are going to use a enable the option in Android studio so that whenever you are going to use a new object that related to library will be automatically imported as soon as ever you are you are interested to use those so let's just start Android studio and let's try that one search android studio so here is our android studio you can pin it to taskbar and we are going to use our project here and it is a new project and we are using java language instead of using kotlin okay clicking on this project give it a little time so that the project can start and here is our project here is the activity main xaml window and this is the main activity window and you can see the extension is java it is not kotlin we are using a java language so here is the text view so let's go to the main activity window and let me show this is the default new project and here we are using android and this main activity java file is located within this java folder and then example dot so as the name of the project and this is the main activity window and uh, let me show you we have you can, if you go to the main activity window then you can see that we have a text view here you can see in our last video instead of using the hard coded string how to use the resource string and resource value and how to set it now if you, if you expand the import options then you can see these are the important options right now i want to add this text view okay in our main activity window and we want to use the text view okay so please use Use text view here text view and you see it is already added so when in your case it will not be added okay if it is not added and then what you should do you see text view whenever you are going to use the text view it will be marked as red like now then let me say channel name okay and channel name and here you can write you can you have to cast it explicitly text view object find view by id and we want to find it and we want to give the reference and here it is we didn't give any id there so let's give an id there okay let's go to the activity main window and select it and then this id you have to change this id like i'm giving here channel name okay channel name and clicking on enter if you enter and then if you refactor then it will be changed okay and you can see you can see the code window also that it is also changed and the id is now channel name use this one in our main activity window here and you can see r then id then here you can see channel name is now available but these are red, red mark android dot widget okay text view this is a widget and you can use this in two different ways okay if you want to you can do it manually but you can do it manually by using alter then enter or you can use another way in this video tutorial my main focus is to use it automatically instead of using the alter enter instead of using alt enter we don't want to add if you press on alt enter it will be added here imported android dot widget dot text view but i want to add this automatically so you have to enable it so go to the settings here go to file and then settings then go to editor and then go to general and then general then you can see within the general if you expand it okay you will see auto import option here you can see we are, you are using java language okay you will have two different options java or kotlin if you are using kotlin you can add unambiguous imports on the fly and optimize imports on the fly for current project okay you can check these two options in our case we are using right now java so we are adding this one and we are adding this one insert imports on paste okay whenever you are going to paste it it is selected all and here these two boxes are also checked main focus is to enable these two options these are the check boxes to enable those we are using java that's why we are enabling these two options okay add and 
unambiguous imports on the fly and optimize imports on the fly for current project and we want to add it so you are clicking on apply to apply it okay click on ok now you don't have to use anymore alt plus enter and it is automatically added if you use a different widget okay if you are going to use a different widget here like you are using a button or you are using edit text anything that you are going to add here whenever you are going to mention it here by using id okay then you can use that easily and it will not be it will not ask any again plus enter okay instead of pressing alt plus enter it will be automatically added because you have enabled this option okay and it will be automatically imported if you remove anything you are not using this one okay you see it is gone from there because you are not using it so it is automatic and it is managed automatically this is the beauty of it that how it is done okay so use the text view again and you'll see it is again enabled so this is the two ways that you can do it one thing is you can do it manually by using alt plus enter or you can go to the files and then settings and then you can go to editor window editor part then general within general auto import is there okay and you have to just enable these two options so i hope that you have understood how to uh, enable auto import option so that you can import the widgets automatically you can import the libraries required libraries automatically within android studio you can also check the project here like if you run it then and we don't want to use pixel we want to go to the avd manager and then we want to use the nexus okay now it is running and start it see it is here okay and you can check also in this way so this is how you are going to enable auto import option from the settings so this is top here right now so i hope that you have understood how to use the auto import options from the settings and how to use it in android studio so that you can code efficiently you are welcome to check other videos in our channel if you like any video then don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next tutorial video until then take good care of yourself bye